Kansas City gymnasts made it to Tokyo as alternates for Team USA. Kara Aker and Leanne Wong didn't get to compete, but it is still a huge accomplishment that they made it all the way to the Olympic Games. You have to be Olympic caliber to be a replacement athlete. And as we've told you, both of them come from the same gym in the Kansas City area where they train. All new this morning, KSHB 41 News reporter Jordan Betts takes us inside to show us how they are already training the next generation of gymnasts. When it comes to building gymnasts into Olympians at Gage, Coach Al Fong is already training what he believes could be the next set of Olympic athletes. I have seven, and they're all there. And uh, now these are monsters. Say, Leanne was not a monster. We had to build. Those guys are so strong. Some of these teams moving from different states just to work with Fong and his staff. They're from Texas, uh, then there's Iowa, then there's uh, Nebraska, the other kids are homegrown. There's uh, Idaho, there's people from California. But whatever they're doing, it's paying off as the gym has sent several women to the games. Fong comparing this group to this year's Olympic gymnastics alternates, Kara Aker and Leanne Wong. Their skill level is twice as good the same time of last year's quadrennium for these girls twice the level so i'm excited by that this blue springs coach says these up-and-coming gymnasts have watched athletes become olympians so with having that front row ticket they see what it takes to get to the top and that's what's driving them to be the best and everything that they learn these these girls pick up so we have started that process already so uh, and we will we will be introducing them to the national staff in october and they're extremely excited because um, they need they need juniors and we have the juniors Can you imagine what those juniors are going to be like in three years? Twice that level? It's crazy to think what they could be like in just a few years. The Acres moved closer into town just so they could be closer to Gage. So it shows you what links parents will go to to make sure they get the best training here in the country and here in Kansas City. We've spent so much time in that gym over the last month and being around those athletes. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like here in a couple of years. We're doing it all over again. I know. It's fun. It's yes, fun to think absolutely. about. We're like 12 or 13 now. That just goes to show, Jordan, right? They spend a decade plus training right. for these moments, so they're already going. So, Jordan, let's talk about our local athletes that do train there that have been in Japan, Kara Aker and Leanne Wong. Do we know if they're on their way back yet? Obviously, they both have been able to um, quarantine or had to be quarantined because of COVID. What's their, their travel situation right now? Yeah, according to Instagram, which sometimes can be such a great resource, we believe that they are on their way back. Uh, yesterday, Leanne posted on her story that she had landed back in the United States, so hopefully she is at home this morning. And then Kara posting to Instagram, and I love this caption, it says, it's been fun, Japan, but I'm ready to go home. Now, Kara tested yeah. positive for COVID-19 while in Japan. Leanne was considered close contact, so she had to quarantine, but luckily testing negative throughout this entire process. So just Kara being the only one testing positive. So luckily they're going to be back here in Kansas City. We'll have a warm welcome for them. Guys, That's good. Jordan, I just